Hey everyone, Joe here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect your XLR microphone to your computer. Before we get started, check out On One Photo Raw. On One Photo Raw gives you control of your photography and what matters to you. On One gives you an open system for complete control over your storage, organization, editing, and method of purchase. On One will also never be a subscription only model. Learn more and download your free trial by clicking the links in the description below. So you have decided to upgrade to an XLR microphone. XLR mics can be easily identified by the three pin XLR jack often found on the bottoms of the microphones. To connect the XLR microphone to your computer, you will also need an audio interface like shown and an XLR cable. Start first by mounting the microphone onto your mic stand or boom arm. A good shock mount may be preferred if mounting on a desk. Connect your XLR cable by plugging it into the jack on your microphone. Then plug the other end of your cable into your audio interface. Next, you will want to plug the USB cable that came with your device into the USB jack on the back. And then into the back of your computer. Now, if you're using a condenser mic, you should turn on the 48 volt phantom power. Finally, you will want to set the gain on your audio interface so that your gain levels in your computer are hitting between negative 12 and negative 6 dB. Okay everyone, so yeah, pretty easy tutorial. Now if you're not sure about your microphone, if it's a condenser that requires 48 volts, like the AT2035 here, do check out on your box. The box will let you know if it requires phantom power. Now like dynamic mics like this SEV7 here do not require phantom power. However, they will probably require more gain. Like I said, just check out the requirements on your box. And it will tell you if it's a dynamic or a condenser microphone. Now, you'll notice in the video, I didn't talk about USB to XLR cables. And that's because there are so many really affordable uh, use you know, audio interfaces out there. If you're going to get an XLR microphone, don't cheap out and get a USB to XLR cable. They probably won't provide enough power and they won't have it nearly a good audio quality. Is you just get a really good audio interface. Like I said, there are some really good ones at a really affordable prices these days. You know, a lot from Behringer and stuff. So if you're going to get an XLR microphone, don't get an XLR to USB cable as they don't really sound all that great. But anyway, that's it for this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, have a give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up is always highly appreciated. Now, if you're not a subscriber to my channel yet, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribing is free. It's for you. and lets you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone. Thank you for watching.